Hello, welcome to OnQA. In this session, we are going to talk about the recording controller. So what is recording controller? So recording controller is one of the element in the test plan which would control the recording and automatically grab the elements to the test plan automatically. And what is the advantage? The advantage is Basically, we use the workbench to record the script. Once the script is recorded, then we move, enhance it and update the script back to the test plan segmentation. But with the recording controller, we don't need to move, move it to the test plan. The recording controller, while we record the script in the browser, automatically grabs the transactions and place them directly into the test plan. So that is the beauty and advantage of the recording controller. So let's go and see what is this recording controller, where it is available, and how can we use this recording controller to grab the things, to grab the transactions automatically from the workbench to the test plan area. So let's go and learn about the recording controller now. So let me open up the JMeter. And this was the script which we have created and enhanced in the previous script. Let me save it and say close the current script. Once we are done, now what I wanted to do, let me just go and create a user thread. And I would say my thread group as shopping cart. Let me say. So once we have certain shopping cart users thread group created, on that thread group, let me just go and use a config element. And then you can notice so once we have the thread group, let me click on the thread group, just go to add the logic controller, and you can see we have a recording controller element. So click on that, and I would simply let it be the same at this point of time and let's go to the workbench and then right click on the workbench and add a non-test element called HTTP and HTTPS test recorder and the port that we know is 5050. How do we know the port is 5050? Let's open up the Firefox browser. Let's go to the options, settings and let's go to the advanced part. In the network, the connection settings, you can see the manual proxy configuration is the local host and the port is 505. This is what we have configured. Let me say OK and close this port and let me close the browser. Go back and 5050 is the port which we wanted to grab and record the sessions, record the transactions from the browser. So once we configure, now I wanted to use to record my sessions with the recording controller. Now this would automatically grab and place them into the recording sessions. So this is my intention. And you can also see the test plan shopping cart. And let me just go and use this part so that while we record, the things can be automatically placed in the test plan in the shopping cart users under the recording controller. So once we have this, let me just go and click on start. And we are good. The script can be recorded by the JMeter. Let's open up the browser. Put the browser and application or the JMeter together. And then let's go and click on the application. Now application is navigated. You can see the first transaction is created. If you want, you can rename it right away. Let me just go and say, this is my home page. And these are all part of home page, but let it be. Now I wanted to go to, let's say directly laptops. And all these transactions would become part of laptop. Let me just go and say, this is products or laptops, whatever you wanted. Let me save the simplicity laptops 
and since we have two transactions one is home page the second one is laptops now let me just go and pick lenovo and everything becomes lenovo let me say this is part of lenovo and in the lenovo what i wanted to do i wanted to click on the think center and this is something about the thick center let me just go and use this name as it is and once everything is done now i need to add cart and this is the place where add to cart begins let me change that to add to cart and then let me say continue to add cart continue to shopping and we are good once everything is good stop your script maximize the j meter go back to the workbench and then stop your script if you notice we don't see any script in the workbench and everything is automatically moved to the test plan area so that is the beauty of the recording controller the recording controller can automatically take everything and place them into the test plan area now we have created some transactions home page the laptops the lenovo the think center add to cart and if you wanted to segment everything clearly what i am going to do let me just go and add save the script first let me say home page we are good save it what i am going to do now let me add a simple controller i would add a logic controller called simple controller i would say this is my step 1 and what is that we wanted to do in the step 1 in the step 1 we wanted to place these transactions so grab them and place them here so step 1 has got home page interactions and then let me just go and create another logic controller and i would say this is my step 2 or scenario 2 and what is my scenario 2 i wanted my laptop scenarios to be placed under step 2 go back and place them again let me just go and add my step 3 so i would say this is my step 3 and i would place all my lenovo sessions under that similarly let me just go and add my step 4 and what i'm going to do i'm going to add my all the transactions under my step 4 so we have step 5 let me just go back and add step 5 let me see step 5 and under the step 5 the add to cart transaction should be placed so cut them and place them in this step 5 once everything is done you don't need the recording controller you can disable them or remove them that's up to you and once we disable that will not be considered for execution save it at the end let me add the listener the summary report let me add the listener with respect to the tree the listener with respect to the table so save it and execute it now you can see the total summary the results tree the table so everything is passing and we are good now we have steps the step 1 if you want you can also say home page navigation let me make it more clear step 1 i would say home page navigation and step 2 i would say product page and step 3 i would say what is the step 3 it's a lenovo laptop so i would say lenovo laptop 
and step four we would say this is what we are continuing let me just go and copy that and step four this is all about this particular laptop and then step five is all about add to cart so we are good now we have meaningful names and the overall summary if you wanted to measure each and everything just go back and copy these two and place in all the transactions you can see we have everything across each and every scenario copy and place here also we have both the results and copy and place them here also now we have everything save the script now we have all the transactions properly saved properly segmented properly aligned we have overall status reports save it clear the log and run it once you can see all the transactions passing successfully if you wanted to cross check let's go back and click on the html downloadable version and go back to home page and we can cross check this is the home page and just go back to laptops we can cross check we navigate to laptop section where we can see only the laptops and then we wanted to go to lenovo and in this case only lenovo loads up the lenovo laptops loads up and then we just go to the particular think center laptop and what is the think center laptop so this is the laptop called think center which is loaded and then we have added that to cart what is the proof you can see success you have added this particular product to the cart and this is the proof once it is done we continue to the shopping so everything is successful this is the overall status report the results the execution summary everything if you wanted to measure individually we have reports for that also so this is what we have the full fledged design the full fledged the recording controller which would automatically grab the things into the test plan once everything is done we can enhance and execute the test cases so this is very easy very simple but very powerful in execution very powerful in results analysis and reporting so with this we are good to understand what is a recording controller and how we can make use of the recording controller so recording controller is element which would benefit us help us to grab the transactions to automatically fall under the test plan area and whatever the things we update can be directly updated in the test plan so that is the beauty of the recording controller once we have done we have updated made proper steps and the reports and we executed we analyze let me just go back and clear let's say i wanted to run the results for 10 users save it and run it now you can see it runs for 10 users and this is the overall summary and we know how to visualize how to play about each and every execution so this is all about the recording controller which is present as a controller element in the test plan which would help us to grab the recording into the test plan so with this we are good with the recording mode in the next session we will talk about how we can make use of third party controls to record the scripts for jmeter so thank you so much thanks for watching the video hope you liked it so please visit earnq.com so let me summarize what we have discussed in this session in this session you have concentrated and learn how we can record and how a recording controller would to grab the recording grab the transactions and automatically place them into the test plan area so far we know only the recording can be done in the workbench but with this recording controller the things can be automatically moved to the test plan area so we can enhance it better we can execute it then and there and we can visualize the results very easily so this is all about the beauty of the recording controller so with this we are good to proceed how we can create test scripts using jmeter in the test plan area using jmeter workbench how to enhance and how to move them to test plan and how we can use the recording controller to control and place the transactions directly into the test plan 
so we are good with the test plan design recording enhancement execution the next session you talk about how we can use the third party controls like a bad bad tool there is a tool called bad boy how can that tool help us to record and how we can use that script to play back in the jmeter so thank you so much thanks for watching the video hope you liked it so please visit earnq.com there are so many videos presentations articles books and pdfs with respect to automation test management performance testing and functional testing so thank you so much and see you again Thank mm -hmm. you.